Hi everyone, let's have a look at how we can get some extra MIDI functionality with a hack by plugging a MIDI cable into MIDI in and out of the deluge. We'll have a look at how we can quantize pre-existing MIDI and how we can use it as uh, use the arpeggiator and scale lock as a composition tool. So let's just get some MIDI in there. Very nice. Okay, now change that to a MIDI track. And make a new one. New synth track with the sound. Uh, change the recording mode to quantized. Then record the track in. Oops, forgot to learn the MIDI channel. Now we can record the track in. Now we have uh, quantized MIDI. Right, next we can have a look at how to use the arpeggiator and scale lock as a composition tool. So we'll get rid of these ones. Or well, that one anyway. Okay, so um, with the scale lock, what have we got here? So we'll make it D and then minor, good old D minor. Now, if we, uh, with the uh, audition pads key locked, uh, if we leave a space in between it and just mash three pads at the same time, it's going to make chords in the key. So let's do a bit of that. progression um, so I'll turn that into a MIDI channel one again and put the arpeggiator on like it on random and it'll be on two octaves yep and make a new synth line. Learn the channel. No, the arpeggio is playing it. So I'll record that.
Now, uh, you can go through that and um, make it so non-dominant notes resolve to dominant notes and have it so some notes are longer. Right, held out. Um, uh, it'll be boring going through it doing the dominant thing, but, uh, d just in case, um, that's a thing, but, uh, there we've got a chord progression and a melody now. So turn our arpeggiator off on this one. And different noise. That'll do. And we've got chords and melody. Instant creativity tool. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, none of that was prepared or anything. It's like just good to use it for inspiration and uh, like jamming. But then, like, if you can have happy accidents and turn them into songs, that's great too. Many of the melodies from my songs are made this very way. Thanks again.